Hey guys, it is me, Phoenix. We are going to do a general read to see where your energy is. Please do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell notification to be notified when I post a new video. Remember, red hearts, you made it through. Purple hearts, it resonates. Green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six, me to have my back because I have yours. I am sitting up here trying to think. This came out of my last read, but um, I'm trying to think about my last read. Um, I just turned the mute button off, but I was talking just a minute ago. I don't remember cutting it on. Anyway, um, I have to go back and check that. We have divine masculine. We have confusion. We have escaping. We have sorrow, chemistry, intimacy, and obscurity. So um, you have been in a situation to where there was some type of attraction, some type of depression that you're going through. Um, this could be dealing with somebody with heavy masculine energy in their chart and somebody that has like a lot of secrets and things that they have been keeping away from you, but, um, or confiding into you, um, and you've been bonding, but you're trying to, at that same time, uh, they're pushing you away, but, um, it's confusion because you're not sure you can't read, you can't read, or they are an, unable to read between the lines when it comes to where you are. So, this is somebody who you have a lot of chemistry with, but it's like they're telling you things in order to push you away or they're keeping things or trying to keep secrets from you in order to push you away from what it is that they're avoiding. And that's to be really emotional um, with you or to, to, tell you their true feelings if that makes sense with that being said i'm gonna pull from the true emotions that to go from there because it is not easy to deal with somebody who is closed off blocked and um are facing some type of depression but you guys do me a favor like share subscribe hit the bell notification to be notified when i post a new video i'm not sure if i said it but red hearts if you've made it through Purple hearts, if it resonates, green hearts, you're working on it. Yellow hearts, you rock with me. Got my six. I mean, I have my back because I have yours. Yeah, all of these cards came out. Yeah, memory. So there's pride. There's ego here. There's ego. There is, it says somebody that's stubborn. I didn't even look at that. Yeah, and arrogant. I didn't even look at these, the bottom of the deck. But this is memories. This person has memories in regards to you. Um, and it's like they're trying to escape it. Um or they don't want to tell everything as messages of love, legal matters, reckless love, um, uh, bad credit. This keeps coming out. So the way that they do things, the the debt that they owe to others, the way that they and this this is what 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 it means to me is like reckless love. It's like um, it could be childish energy. It could be that, you know, they have kids by somebody. Um, it could be the messages of they're happy being single. Um, because yeah, they like to have third party type energies. They're a sex addict, things like that. Like, so they're okay with being single because there's no strings attached when it comes to legal issues. So this person, you know, would rather go in debt or to deal with, um, several people than have anything, a stability, meaning, um, it could be from, uh, finances, how you do them. This came out in the last three readings that I had. Two, I want to say two readings, the last two readings. One of them was they can't defeat you. The other one is they left you hanging because this energy was like you've been doing and do, doing all kind of stuff, showing your loyalty, showing how you can support this person and situation. And this person is totally turned around and used that against you because they know what, how you care about them or they know that, you know, until you stop and then they start questioning everything. So, um, Again, this has to do with them knowing that there is chemistry there, there's sexual chemistry, both everything, but they rather be addicted to third parties and no strings attached. And, you know, they could be walking around with several kids um, and things like that, or they just could be childish like that, like they do everything so they won't have any type of stability, have several different people, you know, and uh, confide in different people or just, just trust too many people. And that could be, you know, where the debt and the bad credit comes in at because they're paying too much. They're paying, instead of them, you know, paying for stability, they're paying like they're weighing, meaning they are, you know, uh, dealing with too many people. The LVL9 consciousness and the earth soul is who you are. The bottom of the deck is hidden blessings. You are a hidden blessing to them. It says, find the blessings in the struggle. This is a struggle for you, but... Again, you are the queen of the zodiac, the empath, the 
the Queen of Pentacles type energy to where you are the one who is able to manifest greatness in their life until you don't. So once you stop manifesting things into their life, they start to feel the struggle. Um, and then they start to question, you know, the love and what they've done. So it says sticks to what is socially accepted, desires to belong to a community spiritually evolved here on earth. So you not necessarily want to be the um you're not you don't necessarily want to be a part of a community you want to be loved and that's where it becomes reckless at because the person that you want is the person that you know and deep down that you shouldn't have bottom of the deck again is the hidden blessings finding the blessings in the struggle grow and expand beyond the limitations be grateful for all life experiences so you're happy that you've dealt with this person place thing or situation or that they came into your life because you have so many great memories that you can share of this person when you guys were laughing and yeah the sex was good yeah the the third party energies of waiting for this person to change and things like that or whatever they were doing seeing potential in them caused a lot of things for you which is them concealing and hiding things you hiding your emotions you trying to be tough and knowing that there's a different bond but again it just all comes with the reckless energy of dealing with this person but it says the lvl9 consciousness you transform the people you meet that's what you start to do when they realize that again the no strings attached and things like that you are earth soul you are a nurturer you are somebody who is able to let people see the beauty in them especially when you remove your energy which turns around and makes them realize that the no strings attached type situation was not what they really wanted um, you're able to lead others. Your strong presence influences others. Yes, especially when you walk away. They realize the chemistry, the intimacy, and, you know, the things that you were doing for them caused them a lack when you mo remove your energy. And that causes depression and that causes them um, to really conceal their emotions or not to really want to tell you how they feel because they feel like you have some kind of hold on them. I'm going to pull from the modern day love tarot to see what comes out because this is about love, you know, um, no matter what you are, the person who has changed them and will change them forever. You'll be the forever person who got away. But again, it comes with look, unsure energy. Look at all the cards that come out. I'm not going to look at the bottom of the deck yet, but this card comes out, which is the Ace of Wands energy. So this is them lacking courage and the desire to be able to come after you or to feel like um, um, they could have more or, you know, they, they can control their emotions with you. We also have the Nine of Wands, which is boundaries. They okay, this is somebody not setting boundaries or not wanting to set boundaries. So the nine of wands in the upright is boundaries, but the nine of wands in the reverse is like you're exhausted again, back to, why did I think exhausted was out? Wasn't exhausted out here? Or was that my last read? Mm, I could have swore it was exhausting. But anyway, why did I feel like exhausting was out? But ego, sorrow, sadness, things like that you're exhausted because you need to set boundaries and this is the two of cups energy especially when it comes to you wanting this love and you need to understand that there's going to be all type of breakups until you learn to really just love yourself and and that they need to learn the same thing so if this is their energy when it comes to not having the courage to really say what it is that they want out of this situation um you know again the ace of wands just again there's there is a lack of um um passion they're they're afraid i just i just kind of see that you know the the courage and the desire and going after the things that they really want it's a lack of passion for that and so again the two of cups they're unsure what to do when it comes to this energy and the sun causes them to grow grow have to grow and if they don't grow then that's where, where it comes to the ten of pentacles they'll see you happy with someone else if that makes sense and so sometimes people can't do that and you'll have the financial legacy and also the success that you want and the security and the wealth and they'll be waiting and going through all the bad debt and all of the karmic cycles so they feel like it'll be your fault so they'll deflect that against you but it really isn't you it's them because they play games and 
They did all of these things to manipulate this energy and cause you confusion. And you were just basically getting along to get along. If I think if I'm going along to get along or going with the flow, one of the two. And so that's kind of how I see that. Uh, yeah, threatening. Um, so again, uninterested. They weren't interested and they were, you know, weren't trying to um, be, be even bothered at all. So now they're, they understand that that's where you are, you know. This is not a threatening situation that they yet you feel like, oh, okay, scarcity tax, tactics. They can't pump fear into your heart anymore. They can't say it's all or nothing or try to block you or push you away. They can't do that anymore to you or make you feel sad about what you guys lack or what you guys don't have. They can't do that to you anymore. They've removed, you remove your energy from them and you move forward. And here it is. You just wanted to, you know, make sure everybody was happy and go from there. And that's not the case anymore. Like you're just basically working on your foundation and they have that scarcity mindset. They're playing chess and not checkers. You're playing chess. You know what I mean? Did I, wait, checkers. They're playing checkers, not chess. You're playing chess. And they're, you're not going with the flow anymore, will of fortune. You know, you're not going with the flow. It's like a lucky twist of fate or unforeseen challenges. No, you don't give a shit anymore. You, they can't threaten you. You're not interested in what they have to say anymore. And that is kind of how I see that. And so no matter what they do and no matter how they do it, there it's not affecting you like it used to or like it would in the past, you know. So, you know, it's like they everything is out of your control and that's how you feel and this emperor energy comes sideways and the emperor energy just makes me feel like you're unsure they're unsure about what to do you know emperor should be um you know respecting yourself you don't respect this situation anymore it says ineffective ruler and then strong leader you don't respect their opinion anymore and so therefore even though as much chemistry you had and as much loyalty as you give to them now you've moved forward and now it's just like they don't have that um they don't have that pull that they had on you anymore they don't they're not able to threaten you with their broken promises knight of wands energy you're in your drake energy also when it comes to eight of coins energy you have been dealing with this situation eight years to where now you're like you only live once be bold be fearless do what you love you're accept acquiring expertise and you taking fearless action when it comes to your drake energy and also working on yourself eight of coins eight years each pinnacle is equivalent to a year and now here it is you realize that the everything that they've given you uh, or done for you has not been any type of triumphant completion. It's been based upon you having to grow yourself, notable growth. You're really taking into consideration that you are doing this on your own. And it's like you're looking ahead, you're expanding. But again, it took for you to have a, uh, you know, you know, to realize that you have the whole world in your hands, the world energy, you know, the world energy also is just like you moving on. And that is the growth that you had to have in order to get out of this, the escaping energy. Bottom of the deck is the queen of coins. I told you the mother of the zodiac escaping, you know, the obscurities, all of those things and the scarcity tactic. They can't afraid, they can't threaten you or uh, make you afraid anymore. You're not going with the flow. And this is a peaceful abundance. The queen of pentacles says, like JDS Terrell says, the queen of pentacles can be toxic to herself. And also Queen Amin Ra says the Queen of Pentacles is the mother of the Zodiac. She's the nurturer. She's the lover. She's the one who is loyal, who's going to um, do any and everything for um, what she believes in. And she's able to manifest things. But the Queen of Pentacles also with the quote that I, when I was learning tarot, the actual meanings and what stuck to me when it came to the Queen of Pentacles and then hearing these other perspectives, it says a loving family is one of the greatest blessings in life protect and care for them no matter what that no matter what will keep everybody out of debt you'll keep manifesting the things that everybody wants and i know the magician card is here somewhere you'll manifest the things for people uh uh what based upon what you need or what they need you'll be able to love them unconditionally you'll go with the flow you'll be able to do all of these things but the lvl9 consciousness is letting you know that you transform the people that you're around, but when you're not around them, 
then everything starts to fall down. It has nothing to do with anyone else. And I think I never completed my sentence in my last reading as you left me hanging or left you hanging was because it was a um, TikTok that I watched. And the girl says, don't mess with those um, spiritual beings, you know, those spiritual people who pray for you and who always have your back because once they remove that energy, you're the one who suffers. That other person is the one who suffers because we take our energy from you when we have to. We're not wishing bad things on you. We just remove that energy from you. We just remove it from you. We remove it with the best intentions that you find happiness somewhere else. And that's why I say sin, strength, and healing has nothing to do with trying to send bad karma to anyone. It's just you having to remove the love that you once shared, that, that, that immediate attentive love that you have for this person, not saying that you hate them, but just removing your energy and letting them see what life is like without you, respectfully. And that is the difference between you and anyone else. So why are you so obsessed with me? Mariah Carey, I don't know if that was this read or not. I tell you, I have so much stuff going on in my head. And in, in the my daily, this is where we are. And so you are not doing this to be funny. You want a foundation and you're able to create these things. And you're playing chess, not checkers. And the scarcity tactics and somebody saying, oh, ego, I'll leave you and give me to someone else. Or I will, you know, uh, you, you'll always think of me. No, you'll think of me. You'll think of me. And that is where the strings attach things type of energy or the hidden blessings are. You are the hidden blessing, and that's what they need to realize. So I'm going to pull from the crystal deck, and then I'll pull from the four agreements, and then we're going to turn around and let this old energy go. It's the watermelon tourmaline. If you want to know the my perspective, click the links above. The heart chakra. Yep, yep, yep. Here it is. Send strength and healing, period. It says release love and joy. You're going to be happy because you've done everything you needed to do. It says I approach the world with love and joy i approach the approach the world with love and joy and the be impeccable with your word it says express your love express your love impeccability of the word can be measured by your level of self-love if you love yourself you will express that love in your interactions with others and that action will produce a like action reaction and so if it doesn't all you can do is send strength and healing, period, because you tried. You tried. And at the end of the day, you're the hidden blessing that this person, place, thing, and situation needed. And that is where I'm going to let this go. We're going to let the old energy go. I now let go of worn out conditions of lack, doubt, hate, negativity, procrastination, stagnation, sadness, generational curses, debt, bad energies, heartbreak bad health and addictions and remember addictions can be to a person place thing or a situation i love you guys bye bye